Today, we have another Mel chemistry set that came. And this one says, what's it say, Ryan? But, but, to will, it burn. But will it burn? Wow. This one's 10 plus. We won't look at that. We won't look at that, right? Are you 10 plus? Yeah. Does that mean, does that mean level 10 plus? I guess it means level 10 plus. Not late, not... You're not 10 years old, right? No, I think we finally used this thing. I think. Oops. Wait, sit in my lap. Oh, I guess I did that. Whoa! Fire foam? Alright, we might save, we might save fire foam. That looks... Wow. Should we put Get that... the fire extinguisher. Boom. Igniting iron, whoa! Mm -hmm. All right, I have my protective eyewear on. Mm -hmm. On the plastic tray. Okay, we got the plastic tray. Keep a bowl of water nearby during the experiment. Who can get a bowl of water? I will. This experiment looks better in the dark. Dim lighting. Well, it's, it, luckily, it's not, uh, it's not bright out, so that's me. Thank you. <laughs> Joe, dim Thank out you, one Joe. of the lights. Steel wool, also known as iron wool, is made of Fine iron threads. Fluff the wool up a little bit to make it easier for oxygen to access the iron. You know why that is, Joe, right? Remember what's Mom. fire? What's fire need to burn? Like it sticks. What's stick? That's like it's food, right? Yeah. So what else does it need besides food? Something to eat, fuel. And um, it needs air. Thank you. Very okay. good. Because you're close to it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, you're gonna do some science. That's right. I'm trying to fluff it up. I kind of. I saw but we need these. That's to light it. You want one of these? Here, you can have one. Oh, here we go. See, honey? Okay, so we put this down here. Okay. Oh, 10, like the F oil. Put it there. Yes? Okay, hold, hold. Okay. Let's see if it lights. Just touch it to it. Get out of the oh. way! Whoa, what it's what you doing? It's spreading, right? It's like... <laughs> and what do it add? <laughs> but okay. it's thinning off. Yeah, it's kind of spitting out a little bit, right? My turn. Rails, nails, and other objects made of iron are not exactly easy to burn. Hold on. But... It may even seem that iron is not flammable at all, mm -hmm. but you just saw some fine iron threads burn quite well. What's the secret? As it turns out, iron burns just fine when it's hot enough, but heating a big chunk of metal isn't easy. Most no. of the heat is quickly absorbed by the bulk of the metal. Mm -hmm. Fine threads of iron wool, however, do not have much bulk to them. Heat quickly accumulates in one place, making the iron react with oxygen i.e. burn, right? That's what we're talking about. This produces even more heat, which further intensifies the process. You may have noticed that the burning iron wool didn't produce any flames. That's because iron doesn't release as many tiny glowing particles as an object like burning paper. You know how we do the paper and the leaves, Joe, and the little the particles come off and they're on fire, right? Burning paper is constantly shedding carbon atoms, which eventually bind with oxygen to form CO2 gas, making what's left of the paper lighter. That's why it kind of like floats. Uh, let's see. Iron atoms, on the other hand, stay where they are, and oxygen binds to them instead of making the wool heavier. Oh, oh, oxygen binds to them instead, making the wool heavier. That's interesting. So this actually gets heavier. Smash that like button, don't forget to subscribe, yo.